You can gouge away, stay all day, if you want to, sha-la-la. And the next category is... Nervous Breakdown of the Year. <laughs> This is an award for the most insane, schizophrenic, fucking detached from reality, danger to the general public, brain dead, mouth breathing, bum licking display of mental retardation of the year. In third place, the Verstappen Shaggers. After the US Grand Prix, where Ted Kravitz said Lewis Hamilton was robbed in Abu Dhabi 2021, yes, we are still talking about it. Even though he was obviously being silly, the Verstappen Shaggers went after him on Instagram, threatening to decapitate him and said they were going to look out for Ted at the next race in Brazil unless he resigned. The situation wasn't helped when Red Bull boycott Sky Sports F1 for being disrespectful. But because that's what you do if you're not completely insecure. You threaten to kill people and refuse to talk to them if they say something that hurts your feelings. Grow up! In second place, the Team LH self-implosion at the Dutch Grand Prix. The Hamilton lunatics went after almost everybody at the Dutch Grand Prix, including Sebastian Vettel for ignoring blue flags, Sergio Perez for racing with Lewis Hamilton, George Russell for overtaking Lewis Hamilton, Mercedes for allowing George Russell to pit under the safety car, Valery Bottas for causing the safety car, Yuki Tsunoda for causing the virtual safety car. They had a lot of sugar that day. But the self-implosion started when they attacked Red Bull chief strategist Hannah Schmitz. The online abuse from Team LH was condemned by everybody, including Team LH themselves. Then Team LH attack Team LH for condemning themselves. Then Team LH apologize to Team LH for condemning themselves. Then Team L I made a diagram to explain this at the time, so I'm not going to unpack their nervous breakdown again. Basically, Team LH are so insane, they even attack themselves. <laughs> And the winner of Nervous Breakdown of the Year is Team LH versus Rocket Powered Mohawk. After the Belgian Grand Prix, Team LH had their obligatory nervous breakdown over the Hamilton Alonso crash. They wished he was dead, they called him a racist, they tweeted in caps lock, as per usual. But then they turned on me. Oh, yeah. Poor little Rocket got it in the neck. After I read out some of their stupid tweets in my race reaction video, they became very defensive. This man, Rocket Powered Mohawk, with almost 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, it's 200,000 now, please, keep up, has put out tweets of Team LH and other fan bases on his channel without their consent. The content of his channel is already very problematic. Thank you. That's really nice. You didn't have to say that. And now this has triggered abuse and harassment towards those people as well. Blah, 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 blah. A couple of tweets later, it goes on to say, also, the remaining of that video was even worse. The tweets aside, making jokes about suicidal behavior or 9-11 is never okay. That's problematic. I think that was because I edited Nicholas Latifi flying a hot air balloon into the World Trade Center. All right, that, that meme did go pretty hard. A few people replied to this, one of which said, white men in general equal disaster. Well, actually, as you all know, I have identified as a strong independent Asian woman in several videos now. So that's very offensive. How dare you misgender me? He is male! Can someone send me his username to try and report it? Yeah, it's at Rocket P Mohawk on Twitter. My account is the one with the pronouns motherfucker.
But it wasn't just tweets they came at me with. They also tried to get the video taken down with a privacy complaint. Dear Rocket Powered Mohawk, this is to notify you that we have received a privacy complaint, blah, blah, blah. We would like to give you an opportunity to remove or edit the private information within the content, blah, blah, blah. I didn't remove the content or edit anything. I left the video as it is with their stupid tweets still in it. And guess what? YouTube ruled in my favor, so the video is still up. Ha 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 ha. I win. Always. Now, to be clear, whenever I read out comments or tweets in my videos, I'm doing it to highlight how insane each fanbase is, so that we can all laugh at them, whether it's Team LH or the Verstappen Shaggers. I have never and will never encourage any of my fans to go on Twitter and harass people. But I do think it's kind of funny when they get harassed. But don't do it, please. And actually, from what I've seen, my fans are the ones making good points. Perhaps they shouldn't have tweeted such crap on a public platform. Burn. You can't share a tweet with everyone and then complain when someone brings attention to it. That's on the person sending the tweet. There are several privacy settings. Good point. Good old Team LH acting like the guy has told his fanbase to go and send death threats to these people who, unironically, are themselves sending death threats to people. Must be the most childish fanbase in motorsport ever. I couldn't have said it better myself. So, well done, Team LH. You are the winner of Nervous Breakdown of the Year. Congratulations! Where's the next category? I swear down on it. Look at this. Right. Right. I've got so many more categories to get through and I can't be asked. And it's almost time for the new season. In fact, Formula One is already at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Bloody hell. So I'm going to plow through these as fast as possible and then we can all go back to our miserable lives. All right. What's next? Cis White Pig of the Year goes to Osama Bin Russell for taking science out of the race at the US Grand Prix and using the word crikey. Crikey. What's this? What the actual fuck are you playing at, dickhead of the year goes to Ferrari for losing a wheel during a pit stop at the Dutch Grand Prix. That was adorable. This is why people hate you of the year goes to Lewis Hamilton for praising the climate change activists who broke onto the circuit at the British Grand Prix. Oh yeah, what did he say? Big up those guys. Ooh, big up those guys. Shut up. Why don't you get back in your G-Wagon or your speedboat or your private plane? Every breath you take is hypocritical. Oh, that's not, that's not in the right order. It's not in the right order. Hold on, hold on. Where's cis white pig? There it is. Pure, is that it? That's it, there we go. Pure knob of the year goes to Max Verstappen for ignoring team orders in Brazil and throwing Perez under the bus. That was a dick move. Are you teching the actual piss of the year goes to the FIA for putting a tractor on the circuit at the Japanese Grand Prix in the pissing down rain? In fact, the only person that thought that was a good idea was Paul DeResta. Or an earlier red flag. Well, I think we're the victim of trying to get a race underway because of what happened last yeah. year. So we do a red well. flag every time yeah, there's a crash. Just, so yeah, it, yeah. it goes on, yeah. You are literally too stupid to insult. I am so fucking hard right now of the year goes to Lewis and Max wheel to wheel at the US Grand Prix. That was amazing. And I was hard. Alex Jones's aneurysm of the year goes to the conspiracy theory about Sergio Perez crashing on purpose in qualifying at the Monaco Grand Prix. And finally, you two are the reason the world is on fire of the year goes to Lewis and Max for crashing into each other at the Brazilian Grand Prix for the 100th time and having the most insane fan bases in the sport. And that is the end of the RPM F1 2022 end of season. Thank fuck it's finally over. Unofficial but still really important prize giving ceremony. Sponsored by Balenciaga. Now, before I terminate this broadcast, I would like to do an in memoriam for all the people that we lost in 2022. Nikita Mazepin because of the Russian invasion, Sebastian Vettel because he retired, Daniel Ricciardo because he was shit, Mattia Bonotto because Ferrari, WTF1 because somebody thought they could do better, 
the leg brace lady who was eaten by wild dogs, Alex Albon's appendix, the devil himself, and the Queen of England. But there is one person who will be missed more than anybody. King Nicholas Latifi. So now I would like to play him out with a song. How the fuck am I going to do this? Rest this on here, maybe. Yeah? What about that? What about this? What about this? No, that's not going to... What about here? Shall I... Could that work? What if I wrap that round there? What if I do that? What if I leave that there? That's Why can't it just stay there? What about that? Swear down in my nan's grave. What if I put it through here? And fucking... Oh, but it is resting on cable. It's resting on... That'll be... Why won't that fucking work? Right, that'll do. Where's my shades? Ah! No. Oh. Nicholas Latifi! <laughs> <laughs>